Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daily Dan blog. Today we're looking at Bram Stoker's Dracula, a Marvel, a number one. I'm not sure what year it come out in. I couldn't find no release date on the new year of this book, but it's a reprint of old books from the Dracula Lives series of 1974. Ooh, I love the cover on this book. I bought this book mainly for the cover. And being close to Halloween and the month of October, I thought, if I'm going to do comic books, I'm going to do some vampires, werewolves, and zombies. I got to do Halloween comic books, right? So let's crack open Bram Stoker's Dracula and see how freaking disappointed we can be. I peeked inside. Expect disappointment. And inside the front cover, you get the first hint of things to come. Yes, my God, if you're going to reprint a great comic book from 1974, the Dracula Lives series, which was well known for its fine art and great graphic colors, shouldn't you maybe reprint it in color? Yes, it's true, YouTube. They took a great comic book like Dracula Lives from 1974, and they have sucked all the color out of it and turned it into a drab, black and white, tasteless comic book. Oh, my God, this is worse than the Pink Floyd crap I did a while back. Even though it seems to be being faithful to the story, let's turn the page. And here on the second page, you see, once again, the black and white story. But it's the same old story as the Dracula story, and they're being very true to it. I'll give this comic book a lot of credit, YouTube. It's sticking right to the story. Right down to the wolves chasing Harker's carriage along the road. Here's a full panel look at this page. Dun, 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 Moving right along quickly. Dun, 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 dun. We arrive at Dracula's castle already. Greetings, I am Count Dracula, looking like Vincent Price from 1969. Into the spider's web, they named a second chapter in this book. You believe it? It takes five pages to get to a chapter in this book. But I will give credit, Dracula looks so freaking cool. Wow, I love the art. I will say that. And they're sticking really true to the story, as you can tell by the panels in this wonderful comic book. I do like the comic, I have to admit. Look at the classic art. He cuts himself shaving, just like in the movie, as I peel back so you can see the whole panel. And I also like the way he holds out the cross. And in these next panels, we get a lot, and I do mean a lot of Dracula action, just like in the movie. The original movie, too. Even though I don't understand why if you're going to make a Dracula comic book and go original, you don't make him look like Bella Lugosi. Woohoo, YouTube! In the next panel, we're going to get to see them brides of Dracula, I think, because it's called the female of the species. And he's Carter's creeping down the castle steps. I'm going to creep down here and buy me some sexy girls. Yep, yeah, and I call that one YouTube in this black and white nightmare of wonder. I will say credit. I love the art in this book. I loved it in the original books when it was in color. And you could see things in color that you do not see in this book. If you know what I'm talking about, YouTube, if you know what I'm talking about. Woo! I am digging this comic book. I love the art. I love the way it's drawn. I remember it from the old days, but once again, let me state, it's in black and white. Why did they suck the color out of this wonderful book? And as we continue along, full page panels, The Encounter with the Brides of Dracula. Yes, it's true. We're having the encounter with the Brides of Dracula. And once again, we're following action right out of the movie. And it seems to be panel for panel, just like an original Bram Stoker's Dracula with Bella Lugosi issue. Except they made the Dracula look all funkified. <laughs> and when I say funkified, YouTube, look at this motherfucker. Tell me, is that the face of Dracula? Or is that the face of a crusty old man that likes to touch little boys or something? Ah, full page panel. Full page panel for you YouTubers. We're winding down in this book. And I think we're getting down to the last chapter. 
And I notice it's not going to be the whole story, I don't think. You know, they did the whole Castle to Dracula, the Jonathan Harker thing, and I think this is just going to be a clip. Yes, it's true. It's a number one, so I suppose they will be a number two. As we get down to that famous part where the old gypsies are packing the coffins, ready to head out to England so Dracula can suck it dry, I think we're getting very close to the end of this book. Well, you two, I could be wrong. They might be going for the whole enchilada here. You know the story. Well, look at the panels. Dracula's getting ready to roll to England. Harker's all upset about it. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, YouTube, here's that famous crawling down the wall scene. Remember that one? It's Dracula going all down the wall. Yeah, and we're getting on there. It's true. We're getting down to the very... What the fuck? Look at the size of them heads on them wolves. Isn't that some shit? I love the wolves. They are drawn so well. Hey, we're getting to the part where little dude escapes the castle. I really like that part. Um, I seen this movie one time where, what's his name? What's his name? Keanu Reeves was this guy wanting to crawl down the wall and stuff. Here's a part I didn't really remember about it. Him finding Dracula in the coffin. I'm sure that happened. I'll have to watch the old Dracula movie back to see if that's in there. I just don't remember that part. Do you remember that part, YouTube? Did this part happen, YouTube? Did this part happen? Huh. I don't remember that. And I still think they should have drawn the Dracula like Bella Lugosi. And YouTube, what a freaking crazy ending. Huh. I don't get it. Look, he smacked Dracula in the head with the shovel. That's going to do a lot of good, isn't it? Let's smack him in the head with a shovel and run away. And that's what he does. He smacks him in the head with a shovel and runs away. He could have stayed his ass and ended it right here. And by the way, when I talk end, this is the way it ends right here with this episode. This is it, the finale. And if you're wondering what comic book series back in the 70s this was stole from, here's a look at that book right here. Ah. Which brings us to the end of this wonderful book. And let me tell you what I think. I think it's wonderful art. I think it's a great book. I love it. Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'm not sure what year they reprinted this in. I could not find it in the book. But it's from a 1974 comic book, which they sucked the color out of it and made an old black and white looking thing. I hate the fact that they sucked the color out of it. It brings it down a little bit to me. But it's still a great comic book. And mainly I bought it for that cool cover for my wall. I can't wait to hang that sucker up. Thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you like my look at Bram Stoker's Dracula from the 1974 Dracula Lives series. It's a number one. Can't go wrong with a number one. Thanks for joining me, and be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Blog over.